welcome to the latest in the series of video tutorials from JetTech Motorsport. This video has been produced to explain the functionality of JetTech Fuel Lab, a new module recently introduced into the JetTech Pro software. To enter the Fuel Lab module, click the Fuel Lab button found on the right hand side of the Del Auto screen. There are three options for fuel density calculation and to enter the fuel density into the jetting calculations. The first option is a simply enter the fuel density SG figure or API dependent on the fuel supplier's information provided to you the customer. Uh, it is normally SG, a specific gravity. As you can see in this panel to the left I have included a number of fuel suppliers type SG figures and these are listed in this panel as you scroll down. If your particular fuel type is not found here then simply contact your fuel supplier and get them to provide you with the fuel density figures for your particular type of fuel. Simply enter the fuel SG in this panel by selecting the up and down buttons. Also select for a matter of record the um, calibration temperature for your fuel density. It is normally uh, 15 degrees C but could be any of the figures provided in this drop down list. Having selected the fuel density then return to the Del Auto jetting screen and this pop up box asks you do you want to enter this fuel density into the jetting calculations. Select yes and you will return to the Del Auto screen. Now if you unlock the setup features you will note here that the fuel density just recorded in the fuel lab module is displayed. To display the fuel density test panel simply click this area and the fuel density test panel is displayed here to the right. You can reposition this by simply holding down the mouse on the blue bar at the top of the panel and dragging it to the desired location. Its operation is very similar to the JetTech Flowbend Cycle tool. You press the higher button then the fuel density will cycle higher and as you can see to the left here the jetting will cycle correspondingly lower as a result of the increased fuel density. You can then reset and it will return to the original jetting and certainly you can cycle lower and the fuel density will then uh, cycle lower and correspondingly the jetting will cycle to a richer setting as a result of the lower fuel density. If you exit this panel then the jetting will be reset uh, correctly for the current fuel density. In the diaphragm carburetor screen you have a similar operation. You will note that this uh, fuel density is different than the one we have just entered into the uh, Del Auto screen and this is because you can independently set fuel density for the diaphragm carburetor and the Del Auto carburetor. First select either the 2 jet or 3 jet uh, diaphragm carburetor that you model that you are using. Similarly uh, you can use the fuel density test panel in this module gain exactly the same as in uh, 
the Dell Auto module. Returning now to the Fuel Lab module, the second option is uh, number two, and this option you enter the fuel density SG and independently the oil SG. The software calculates at the selected fuel oil ratio. As you can see here, 16 to 1 is the figure. Uh, and this is a result of the uh, fuel oil ratio currently in use in the diaphragm carburetor screen. If you had entered the fuel lab module from the Dell Auto screen, and let's just check that the fuel oil ratio is set here at 50 to 1, as you can see. Now, if we enter the fuel lab module from this screen, you will notice that the fuel oil ratio has changed here to 50 to 1. Now, the fuel oil ratio is used in this calculation. So, the fuel oil ratio corrected SG here displayed at the bottom, 756, is calculation as a result of the fuel at 7.54, the oil at 8.76, mixed in a ratio of 50 to 1. And similarly, if you then return to either the uh, the auto screen or the diaphragm screen you will be asked do you want to enter this new figure you select yes the fuel SG of 7.65 has been entered into the Del Auto jetting calculations the final and by far the most accurate method of determining the fuel density is to use a hydrometer an accurate measure of temperature and to complete this operation for the mixed petrol and oil combination. So to determine this figure you would simply use the JetTech fuel testing kit which is supplied by our network of dealers across the world and of course at rotaxjetting.com. You would mix a batch of fuel and oil that you intended to use for the uh, race meeting you are competing in and you would complete prior to racing a one-off fuel test using the JetTech fuel test kit. Enter first the hydrometer reading you obtain from this test and then the fuel temperature measured at the time of the test and the software will calculate the temperature corrected specific gravity for that batch of fuel mix you intend to use and again were you to return to the Del Auto or diaphragm carb screen you will be asked do you want to load the fuel temperature corrected SG into the in this case Del Auto jetting calculations select yes and as you can see if I unlock the software the new figure is entered here. I hope you find this video tutorial informative and please call back regularly at rotaxjetting.com for future developments and products provided by Rotax Jetting